Are you a landlord or a tenant confused about the rules through COVID-19? Stay tuned and find out more here about the current rules and also the upcoming changes in the BC government. Hey everybody, it's Shannon Marin here with the Marin Marketing Team and EXP Realty and Shannon Marin Personal Real Estate Corporation. It's What's Happening Wednesday and today I'm here to help landlords and tenants navigate through some of the rules of COVID-19 and what that means uh, as a landlord or as a tenant or as a future purchaser uh, of an investment property. This is what you need to know. Uh, so there's upcoming changes uh, as of September. Um, the rules are changing and everything is starting to uh, get uh, back to normal and uh, repayment plans are happening. So um, let me just start and, and uh, let you know what's going on. So uh, September 1st, 2020, uh, new changes are coming into effect in BC for landlords and tenants. And uh, renters who haven't been paying their rent up to this point uh, will need to start paying their rent. So uh, September 1st, 2020, your rent is going to be due. Um, a landlord whose tenant has unpaid rent or utilities during what was the emergency period would be required to enter into a repayment plan for those. So uh, landlords, you cannot just demand the rent in full. Uh, you have to work it out with your tenant uh, as to uh, how over time the, the back rent is going to be paid. Uh, a landlord cannot able uh, cannot issue a notice to end tenancy for unpaid rent or utilities during the emergency period unless the tenant then defaults on the payment plan. So um, yeah, sorry, you, you, you can't get your tenants out um, just because they didn't pay during the emergency plan, but uh, now it's time to get back to normal tenants, you are going to have to pay your rent uh, on the new terms with your landlord and um, be making some sort of repayment. Okay. Um, rent increases. Landlords can now issue rent increases, uh, but anything that uh, is issued now or issued prior uh, to COVID um, will not come into effect until December 1st, 2020. So that's the earliest that you can see a rent increase. Okay. Um, so province plans to lift the ban on issuing evictions for non-payment of rent. September 1st, 2020. Um, and landlords will be able to order a notice to end tenancy for unpaid rent or utilities if the rent is not paid September. So it goes back to the the normal rules uh, September 1st. If uh, you have a tenant that's not paying September 1st, you can um, issue an eviction notice just like you would normally for the normal reasons. Okay, uh, normal reasons being um, late payment of rent, repeated late payment of rent and, and that kind of thing. Um, a landlord cannot charge a late fee for any unpaid rent during the emergency period. Um, and late payments during the emergency period are not considered cause for eviction. Um, a tenant who owes rent from before March 18th, 2020 can be issued a notice to end tenancy for unpaid rent. So if uh, you have a tenant that didn't pay in January and February um, and then COVID came and you couldn't evict them, uh, now you can evict for those, uh, for those tenants who didn't pay in January and February. Um, to give a reasonable time frame to pay back any rent that they owe from the emergency period, the province is introducing a repayment framework. 
Landlords are required to enter into a repayment plan with a tenant for unpaid rent and utilities due during the emergency period prior to March 18th, 2020 uh, and ongoing. And if the landlord and the tenant entered into an a, into a prior agreement for unpaid rent, it can be replaced with the new agreement now. So um, for 100% of the arrears. Okay. Um, under the new framework, a repayment plan would have to be in writing and would have to be served using specific methods uh, that you will find under the Residential Tenancy Act. If you need to go to the site, just Google RTO and uh, most likely you will find that. Um, a renter owing 2000 in unpaid rent would receive a payment plan that looks like this. The total amount of rent still owed from the emergency period is 2000 The date each installment would be paid would need to be in writing. And the amount that the renter would have to pay each month would also need to be in writing. And that amount would be split into equal installments until the end of the payment period. Um, dates need to be installed for the payment period. And if the tenant defaults on this repayment plan, the landlord would be able to issue a notice to end tenancy. Um, okay, uh, the normal reasons that a landlord can, um, can give notice, um, this is nothing to do with COVID, this is going back to um, you know, regular reasons why uh, a landlord uh, would give notice to a tenant. Um, the basic ones or the most common no notices are for landlord use. So if you're moving into it yourself, you can give notice as of September 1st. Um, and also if uh, you might have a friend or a f uh, not a friend, a family member going in, uh, that's a reason to give notice or if you have sold the property and you have the appropriate paperwork from the purchaser asking to give notice, then you would give the proper, uh, proper notice for that. So um, other reasons are if you're demolishing the unit, if you were doing substantial renovations to the unit, uh, that is also good cause for ending tenancy. Um, so that's, uh, that's a little bit to vote what's going on as of September 1st. Um, if you do have more questions, concerns about, uh, buying an investment property, uh, what to do with your current property and your tenants, or if you're a tenant, um, that has questions about, uh, what's, uh, what your rights are, um, please do give me a call about that. Um, that being said, properties that are listed for sale, uh, yes, as as realtors, um, you still can sell your property during this time, and we can access the property and we can show the property. We've had a little bit of difficulty with some tenants um, not wanting to show, and uh, that was fine up to up to a point, but. Uh, like I said, things are getting back to normal. So um, just know if you are a tenant in a property, we're doing everything uh, to be safe, following all the safety guidelines that have been laid out for us. Um, we are coming in with masks and we are coming in with gloves and we are using sanitizer. Um, normally it's only the realtor that touches any of the doorknobs or any of the cupboards or anything like that. Uh, and we ask the buyers not to touch anything when we go in so that we are the ones responsible for making sure everything is clean. Um, and, uh, you know, it, everybody's going along really good with that. We haven't had uh, any issues or anything like that because we do want to keep everybody safe. Uh, you as a tenant, ourselves and our clients of course so um anyways um that is uh that's it now i think uh, i think i'm done yapping about that um and uh, like i said 
if there's anything at all that you need uh, in regards to landlords, tenants, tenancies, investment properties, please do give me a call. My phone number is 250-202-0160. It's Shannon Marin here, EXP Realty. It's what's happening Wednesday, and I'll talk to you next week. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching. We really, really appreciate it. If you know of anybody that can benefit from our message or that needs some real estate assistance, please do share with your friends. And while you're here, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. It means so much to us and we really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much.